Hey guys, Crew Games here, bringing you the game today in Kerbal Space Program version 2.3 or point two three. Um, and um, what I'm gonna be showing you guys is a little sped up footage of me trying to figure out um a little bit of a different type of aircraft. It's a double winged aircraft. It's my first double winged aircraft. Um, and uh, yeah, so you guys are gonna see how it turns out. You guys can follow the guide as it goes. And so um. It took me about 15 minutes to build in game time and it, I compressed it down to about, maybe that's it's very, very fast. Um, you know, I had the basic of idea of what I wanted to do because I built uh, the craft before in another, in another um, non-recording, but it didn't work uh, because uh, as you guys can see, I have two delta wings set up behind each other and they would collide. Uh, at least the game said they would collide and uh it would collide with airlines airlines so yeah so now uh we have everything set up here uh the craft uh, the craft is actually a very very stable craft and is able to do flips at a it has a very very tight turn radius so you guys could follow that uh, i'm going to be having a more in detailed uh instruction on if you guys if you want to i can have a more detailed instruction on uh, the craft, uh, you guys could just ask me. So now this is a uh, normal sped up footage, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I think I slowed it down a bit just to give the video more length because I wanted to talk about it a bit. So um, there's no real airplane in actual real life that can uh, relate to this aircraft in any way, shape, or form. Uh, you know, you look at it and there's no, there's no airplane with uh, double wings, but. Uh, it's cool, you know. Yeah, I have the uh, canards up at the up at the front, uh, and the canards really do add a lot to this. Uh, I actually saw in a video, I think it was from either Kurt J Mac or Thor LP, uh, and uh, they had canards uh, up at the front of their plane, and I was just like, "What are those?" Because I've never used the canards before, and because uh, when you zoom into them, uh, they, it looks like they're rotating, uh, and uh, yeah. So at one point uh, later on in the video, I actually take off SAS, uh, or, or, or yeah, SAS, and you guys could see uh, what happens. You know, this plane isn't the most stable without SAS. You're gonna need to adjust your trim settings, which I don't end up doing because uh, I, didn't ha I just don't don't feel like that's that's what we need in this video. I could end up having that in another video, but uh, yeah, uh, I'll, you guys you guys will be able to see when I take them off. I think it's pretty soon. Uh, it's it's the the white thing above on the right hand corner of the nav ball, but uh, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, uh, you know, I think it's right here when I take it off. I'm just like, huh, let me take off SAS, and uh, yeah, it doesn't end well because uh, I wanted to see how it maneuver, and that's what happens when you take off SAS. The whole thing just goes crazy. You turn it on and it auto recorrects yourself. And when I pulled this off, I I was thinking to myself, oh man. Unfortunately, you guys will be able to see I don't really finish off the landing. Uh, something happens, um, you know, with this aircraft, you guys can see how close together the landing gear is. You don't really have that stabilization that you need for the mobilization of the aircraft. Uh, I catch the left winglet there, the second left winglet, and uh, I kind of catch an edge. Um, what you guys are going to see me do here is when I take off, uh, I... Actually, I actually activate the brakes at first. Uh, this is actually something that's cool. You uh, you heat up your jet engines at the start, and uh, you release the brakes. And after they physically release, uh, you know, I, I release the brakes, but they take a while to release. And then and you can tell you have the brakes on because the landing gear has a little red light, and now they're green. But once they release in like five, uh, yeah, you could almost pull up immediately. I pull up like right here. And uh, you could pull up so fast with this plane. So once again, guys, Cruel Gamers here signing off. I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, please comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Bye.